Hi fam! Yes, it's me again. It is Sunday and yesterday I did post, I posted a small little video. I didn't get to finish it unfortunately, my memory ran out, but it was just me pre-pooing using um, organic vinegar, um, apple cider should I say. Anyway, on that video I did promise to show my hair loss. This is pretty much how much hair I would lose, which is pretty average. I saved that just for you. <laughs> anyway, put that in the bin. Right, so today I've been busy. My hair's been washed. This is how it will stay unless I go out, of course. If I'm going out where it's just to the shops and I don't need to particularly do my hair because it's under my bonnet and under my cap which I'm about to show you then I'll probably leave it like this but tie it up all together at the back in a bun situation but if I'm going out somewhere where um you know I have to remove said hat then I will probably have it in a bun or I will have it in the bun going there and if I feel like having it out that day I will take it out just before I reach my destination anyway it's still pretty much mm, it's a bit wet still I'm not long um I'm not long washed and conditioned. Let me quickly show you this hat that I've been talking about. Uh, right, so this here is my woolly winter hat. It's one of those, um, what are they called? Oh, I can't remember what, what they're called. But basically underneath that is this. And this company is from Grace Elia. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And basically you can wear this as a hat. That's what it's designed for. It has your um, silk bonnet inside. But I prefer to wear it inside of my actual winter hat. Anyway, I got myself a candle yesterday. Look. I don't know if you can see that, but it says ho, ho, ho. And I thought it would be really good because it's the red and it's got the whole theme. It's got Santa. So I love this ho, ho, ho little Christmas candles. Also, yesterday, um, I went to Dominique's show. By the way, Dominique and Nicole has just gone to the shop. Nicole's about to go out with some friends, but Dominique's home because it's Christmas, so she'll be home. Um, so we went to Dominique's very first um, children's Christmas show that she choreographed as the teacher, and it was adorable, really adorable. The children was done a very good job in the short space of time that Dominique gave them the choreography. I was, I, I was impressed, it was very good. Great job, Dom. Anyway, after that, we went shopping and I could not find anything for my very fussy daughter, who is Dominique, by the way. I couldn't find much, so I was a bit disappointed. But um, here is all of the presents wrapped. I have not wrapped um, these here because they're just too big and they can just take them, unbox is what they will do. Anyway, both my daughters has gone to the shop um, for me and for themselves to get some snacks and whatnot um, to get some milk because I'm dying for a coffee and they know mother is dying for her coffee so we've gone to get some milk so a vital thing that we just didn't think of getting on our shopping by the way anyway 
So they've gone to do that. Kylan's in his room. Kylan has been in his room all day because he's been chilling. I've been dragging him everywhere. Plus, when we got back yesterday evening, he went to watch the football with his dad. So he's had a very, very, very busy one yesterday. So I've let him chill today. Um, we have homework. We've not done homework, can you believe? But I plan for us to do a bit of it today and tomorrow only because he's had such a hectic weekend so far and holidays has just begun and it's a very small project this time which I am very surprised about it's a very small project we can get that done in a blink and so we're going to just ease into that we will start that today however anyway what else can I fill you up on let me move my hat um as you know like i said before i vinegar rinsed my hair this morning um if you go to my vlog that i put my hair tutorial rather that i put up on my playlist yesterday you will see that i was um doing a apple cider pre-poo which I've rinsed out of my hair I've conditioned by the way when you rinse anything out of your hair never have it on a hot temperature also um, keep your ends um, what is it protected throughout the winter as much as possible another tip I would say is when you're rinsing out your conditioner make sure you have your conditioner part way down. Do not put conditioner in your scalp where it's just been cleansed. Leave it alone from here down. And then when you rinse it, you only rinse out the conditioner with cold water. The cold water will essentially seal that moisture in because it will essentially shock your hair to close the, um, yeah, to close up. So that's my little tips. I'm going to actually go and put on the kettle right now because the girls will be back soon. And yes, we have washing people. Oh, I don't know what's going on in my kitchen right now. But anyway, we have our Christmas shop as well. So that is great as I said besides milk but that is great I have a full fridge a full freezer and full cupboards so we are good to go um, the big day is nearly upon us these girls have knocked down my plastic bags anyway um, the big day is nearly upon us but do you know the sad thing about Christmas is where it's in the winter it gets it gets dark pretty early and then the day just feels like it's done let me take these girls don't take off their the lights at all I'm telling you and then the day is done like all of this like uh, is it just me or does people think that Christmas should be at least two days rather than just the one you know I think so I think what we should do is um, if you have multiple presents you open half on one day half the following and repeat <laughs> that's what I think because it's just too sad to have it as the one day because it's too good anyway um right now i am parched honestly i really need me a coffee so these girls will be back soon i've done some cleaning here and there this is just leftover wrapping paper guys my daughter is after it because she's still got a few things that she needs but i don't know if i'm going to go out and buy one more thing for dom um there's one place that i want to try but i'm not sure I might, I might do that tomorrow if I have the energy. If not, then, you know, I'll make it up to her because it's her birthday. 
also coming up. So we have Christmas, we've got Dominique's birthday and then we have New Year's. So she's got some more things coming her way. So I might save that. Here's the girls now. Um, my top is soaking wet. Hi! Because my hair is still pretty much wet. As you can see, the shrinkage is real, guys. Like, boing. It's real. Anyway, I don't want to pull on my hair too much. Um, I've just oiled... Well, I normally just oil from here down. And then any extras just give a little wipe on my from my hands what's remaining anyway the girls are here which means that I can finally have a cup of coffee which I'm going to do immediately I'm coming in the kitchen Mom. guys oh dear put on the cat well I just put on the kettle okay yes Dominique's not in the Christmas mood or spirit as you can see we have no idea of what moods we're going to get from her anyway so while they're in the kitchen and I've been booted out or told not to vlog in there um, I'm going to just sit here and wait I guess so what can I say what else can I say yes Kylan's um, YouTube we're going to do that hopefully today we're going to be able to get him up and running so that he can do a little video through Christmas or a couple of videos through Christmas um, and yeah on Christmas day just happens to be a Tuesday my vlog day so we will be vlogging on Christmas day hopefully madam is in good spirits um, Hello YouTube family. Yes, Nicole's got some snacks. Um, right, so I'm going to say bye for now. It's a very short vlog, I know. But I'm extremely tired. This is why I'm doing this video so late. I am so tired. Yesterday was a lot of running around, rushing about. And I'm really feeling it today. I mean, look at my eyes. I mean, ugh. I am really, really feeling it today. I need to do my nails. I need to do my facial. I need to do all the things still and get prepared for Christmas. Um, I've also got, which I try and do each year now, a new little tradition, is I also get the kids, you know, well, they're not kids. There's one kid, <laughs> but my children, should I say, I try and get them a little small gift to open on Christmas Eve so I've done that um yeah not much else to say really I will see you on Christmas Day I hope everyone has a fantastic Christmas and uh well I wouldn't say Happy New Year